Hey, for the need to know this week, we're coming down to it. We got the Christmas at the farm coming up in just a few weeks, less than two weeks. So we've got some finishing touches, spots to fill in order to be fully staffed, fully ready for all the people that God draws to the farm and all the ways that we can serve them, prepare hearts for Christmas and the real meaning of the season and making sure that they are warmly welcomed and served by our Timberline family. So please use the board in the Great Hall to sign up for slots or the Sign Up Genius link that's provided in this email. We want to be fully staffed, fully prepared for that, and let's get things going. Um, Before we start with our three bonus resource questions, hopefully it's been at least a little evident and clear that my engagement in Revelation lately has stirred some real depth and zeal and passion for that. And I would love it if you would take that opportunity as as an invitation to dive deeper. Use some of the study guide questions that we have, resources to go deeper in the book of Revelation. That's a great resource to even go further than what we're about to do. But here's uh, three questions that you can discuss in your group. Admittedly, working through Revelation can be a hefty task, especially as so much imagery draws from Old Testament works. You need this background of the Old Testament, especially in Daniel and Isaiah. So if anyone in your group has experience with this work, like personally studying it or engaging in a study of Revelation, we'd love for you to share that, uh, share what it developed and what you might still be hoping for, looking for in the book of Revelation. Go ahead and talk about that. Next, when you think of heaven's song, a massive, collective, eternal expression of worship to the Lord, what emotions does it evoke in you? And I want you to be honest here. Does it evoke emotions of excitement or maybe confusion, mystery, or it could even be monotony? <laughs> if, that's what it awakened, if that's what thinking about the eternal song of heaven does in you emotionally, like kind of this fear of like, that sounds kind of boring, just, just be honest. What does the reality of the eternal heaven song bring up, surface in you? And then lastly, a little bit of a pivot point here. We're about to enter into a four-week series on Advent that will work upon the foundation that we've set in the playlist series. We're going to turn to work on four profound carols. And so I know it's probably technically either Thanksgiving or pre-Thanksgiving when you're watching this, but do you have any favorite Christmas carols? And what stands out to you about those carols? Love you guys. Have a great holiday week. Continue being the church and worshiping the Lord.